The demonstration outside Lima's main police station was nothing if not noisy, as striking policemen urged their colleagues to join the action. More were persuaded to stop work as a few dirty tricks were pulled in an attempt to convince them they were doing the right thing. Tempers ran high as the armed forces surrounded the station on the orders of President Garcia. The constitution forbids policemen in Peru from striking, but an inflation rate of 100% has prompted them to defy the law in their demands for higher pay. Strike leaders claim that 4,000 of Lima's 25,000 officers joined the protest, which stopped just short of the violent scene in similar action 12 years ago, when more than a dozen policemen were killed. With Lima already under a state of emergency, the present action by police officers has left key installations extremely vulnerable. The army moved in to show the striking policemen that it was they who held all the powerful cars. Armoured vehicles surrounded the police station in the Peruvian capital, Lima, where the policemen are holed up. The officers have been demanding better conditions and more money. They're paid about $250 a month and want another $200, as well as a 48-hour week and overtime pay. After originally refusing to negotiate, the government has now given the go-ahead for talks and a progress report given by an MP from the United Left Coalition who's been taking part in the talks. He said a list of the police demands would be taken to the presidential palace, a decision that clearly pleased the group of the policemen's supporters. The government of President Alan Garcia is determined that the leaders of the strike, there in the police station, shall get no help from outside. Extra troops patrol the streets and at one point got into scuffles with plainclothes policemen trying to push their way through to the beleaguered station. In the end, the troops fired volleys of shots into the air to persuade the police they weren't kidding. 